This is your news leader, WCIA 3 News at 10. For somebody to, you know, take that out on me and push me to the ground and injure me. Emotional words from the victim of a hate crime. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. And I'm Dave Benton. It happened on Green Street in Champaign just after 1 in the morning Saturday. Police arrested Brett Van Aslin, and today he was in court. Police say he made comments about the student being gay and then pushed him to the ground. WCIA 3's Amanda Evans is in the newsroom with the aftermath. Amanda. Well, Jennifer, Stephen Velasquez is a student at the U of I. He says he was walking with friends when he was attacked for his sexual orientation. Well, he says in this day and age, he couldn't believe that this could happen, and even worse, on campus, where he thought he was safe. My comment was just like, you know, how ignorant was that? And then, like, the next thing I knew, I was pulled back, and that's all I remember. It happened so fast. Stephen Velasquez has trouble remembering the details. He was walking down Green Street with two girls and another guy when a man started yelling at them for being gay. It upset me so much to know that he had no idea who I was. And for me to like, I didn't even, I didn't even try to stick up for myself. I ignored him. And for him to continue, you know, to go on with his action and throw me to the ground, it was just such a shock. Sitting with friends now, the whole thing seems unbelievable. It's one of those fears that you just don't talk about, that there is hate in the world, that you're okay being who you are. And when that actually happened, it was just earth-shattering. Velasquez has struggled coming to terms with his sexual orientation, telling friends and hoping for acceptance. But this is something he had never imagined. I'm gay, and I, I can't even embrace that to my family. <laughs> and for somebody to, you know, take that out on me and push me to the ground and injure me, it just makes me not want to come out, you know, even further to my family or not, because you don't know who's out there. You don't know who is going to react the way that guy reacted. He's shaken up, but taking a stand and ready to press charges. It's not going to be easy, but he won't let this go unnoticed. Yeah, this happened, but I have to move on. I can't let it affect me because it will take it, it will take over and, you know, inhibit my ability to embrace who I am. Velasquez was released from the hospital the following day. Doctors say he was knocked unconscious and suffered some pretty serious head trauma. Uh, the man arrested, Brett Van Aslan, is charged with a hate crime. He's out on bond. In the newsroom, Amanda Evans, WCIA 3 News at 10.